wanted kids for my entire life until now. And if you clicked on this video, maybe you wanted kids your entire life and now you don't, or maybe you've never wanted kids your whole life, or maybe you haven't wanted kids your whole life and now you do. Wherever you are and wherever your mind is now about it, I'm glad you clicked on this video because it's a huge decision to make. And whatever decision you make, you should be supported. So I really wanna to talk to you guys about why my mind has changed even though the past 20-ish years I've always thought I wanted kids. Another reason I feel like it's taken me so long to come to the realization that I don't want kids is because my family is very child and baby oriented. So many people in my family love kids, they love babies, they enjoy taking care of them and playing with them and things like that. And so it was just kind of like a family culture thing like oh what we do is we just have kids. So that's another thing that you may be experiencing too is that your family is very kid oriented and you're not so much. And that's that's totally okay. But that was a thought I had as well. <laughs> more and more people my age do not want kids. In the generation Gen Z, we're just not wanting kids. That's not true for everybody. That's definitely for sure. Some of my friends or people I've known in the past already have kids and they love it. And then other people, I know a lot of people who also are on the other side who have been like, nope, not having kids. And then some people who are in the middle who are like, mm, we'll see what happens. But for the most part, it seems like this generation is way less interested in kids and for some good reasons. So before I get into those reasons, let me tell you how I figured out maybe I don't want kids. Now also, I'm open to my mind changing again. So we'll see, maybe in another eight years or so, I'll be totally ready and I'm like, wow, I am a completely different person now. I want kids, whatever. But for right now, I really don't see myself changing my mind, but we'll see. So I wanted kids up until last year when career started getting real. I had finished school, I'm going back to school, but I had finished my bachelor's degree. I had started working and I was living pretty much by myself with my fiance. And just thinking about it, it's like, well, I'm going to work for, you know, a several years and then it's going to be time to start having kids. And that was just so overwhelming. It's like, wait a minute, that's when my life stops. It just felt like once I have kids, my life is no longer a priority. That was a really scary thought and it had been for quite some time. But since my mind was so stuck in the idea that I'm having kids no matter what, I've always said I will, so I'm going to. I just didn't even consider not having kids as an option, especially because my fiance and I had talked about having kids since we started dating. And I knew he wanted kids and I knew I wanted kids when we started dating. So it was not something I really wanted to bring up, like the fact that I was really nervous about one day Day having a kid. So it was just in the back of my mind because I was like, mm, not having kids now, I'll worry about that later. But one day we were just not even talking, I don't think. I think we were just in the same room together. And he goes, hey, uh, what if we decided not to have kids? It was just like, what we're both thinking the same thing and just not bringing it up because it's a scary topic because that can make or break a relationship whether someone wants a kid and the other person doesn't. You know, I said to him, I was thinking the same thing. What if we didn't have kids? <laughs> so that was really exciting that we were both kind of on the same page then. And since we had that conversation like a year ago, we've both been like, yeah, we do not want kids. So here are a few reasons my generation, Gen Z, is not wanting to have kids. Now, this is definitely not an extensive, exhaustive list. And this does not go for every Gen Z out there, but this is what I've heard from some of my friends. This is how I think, and this is how my fiance thinks. And we're all in the Gen Z generation. So this is just kind of a short list of some reasons why we're not having kids. Huge, huge, huge number one is the economy. It's crazy how expensive one child is, let alone two, three, four, five, however many you have. And it's like, if it's not one thing, it's the other. It's you always have to eat. So you always gotta buy more food. You always have to consider at least that one other person. If you have more than one child, then you have to consider each expense for each child. So if you decide, okay, let's go to a restaurant tonight. You gotta spend money on four people instead of two people, for example. That's obvious, but also, as we all know, inflation is crazy and the economy is just kind of like this right now. Well, inflation's like this and then people's lives are kind of like this right now. And so in a way, a child is a huge financial burden and that sounds really bad, but it's not fair to the child either if you can't provide for them like you want to or if it will really stress you out financially to have a child. 
It's not really fair to anybody. That's just my view on it. I don't feel like I'm a very soft person when it comes to talking about having kids versus not having kids because I'm just not really a child person. That's the second reason I do not want kids and neither does my fiance. We're not really baby people. We're not really child people. I do enjoy hanging out with kids when they're not mine, but at the same time, I honestly don't have the best time with kids. Like I know some people love kids and are teachers or full-time nannies or whatever, but I could not do those careers because I do like hanging out with children but I don't like hanging out with children for a very long time. And that's different when it comes to my family. Like I have some little cousins and it's different when it's like your family. Now you could argue and say, it'll be different when you have your own kids. Well, I'm not trying to find out the hard way. Imagine I have a child and I absolutely hate motherhood. Then I have to take care of this person the rest of their lives, but despise it. So I either throw myself under the rug or I throw my child under the rug by having a child and seeing if I like like it or not if I don't that sucks if I do that's great but it's a very that's a very risky game another thing about enjoying hanging out with the children in your family is you don't have to discipline them you don't have to mother them or father them you just get to hang out with them and they always go back home with their parents so it's really different when you enjoy hanging out or playing with or interacting with babies and children in your family who aren't yours and so that's a totally different thing than having your own children and having to raise them so that's also a number three reason i'm not trying to find out the hard way i know so many people say that when it's your own child it's different and yeah it very well could be but i have heard stories of other mothers who tried to find out and that was not the case. And they advise people to not have kids if they don't want them. I also work for a government program called WIC. It's like SNAP or same thing as food stamps, but they changed the name to SNAP. It's like food stamps for women, infants, and children under five years old. And so we see those clients all day long. We see moms, babies, and young children under five years old. And seeing these moms with their children come in the office and how stressed some of them look, like they look like maybe they didn't want this life for themselves. And also I see a lot of children who aren't well taken care of. We get a lot of foster children in there as well. And seeing all these children who are in low income families who maybe have eight brothers and sisters and who are all not really well taken care of because that's a ton of children in a low income household. You can't really take care of each child well in that situation. And then the foster children stemming off of that, everybody who's in adoption. There's just way too many children who don't live a good life already. And it's really eye-opening to see this job and see how different parents react to motherhood. And it really reinforces the fact that I do not really enjoy babies and I do not really enjoy young children. I do not like the smell of babies. I don't think they're particularly cute. And it's just really scary to have to give up your life for another person. And I know a lot of people get a ton of fulfillment from taking care of something else or someone else, but I really don't know if that's my personality. And maybe it would be different once again if I had my own, but that's a very not cool thing to try if I'm not for sure. I've had a few people who have kids tell me don't have kids because it's not worth it, which is wild to me that you know, sometimes you see the only thing that people say is, oh, it's so worth it. It's such hard work, but it's so worth it at the end of the day to have a family. And it very much could be, but I really think it depends on the individual. And right now, that would not be me. I could not take care of a baby or a child right now. I would not enjoy that. So like I said, I am open to my mind changing in several years for right now. This is how it is. My fiance is also open to the idea of having his mind change, so that's a good thing. We also have big dreams and goals to travel and to, you know, not be stuck or tied down to raising a family because I also, if I had a family, I wouldn't want to move all around. You know, I would want them to have a stable life and stay in the same schools, keep the same friends because that's how I grew up and I loved it. It was awesome. I feel like if I moved around, it would be way less enjoyable. This whole video might be controversial, but this point in particular may be especially controversial. I want to live my life, you know? I don't want to live it for someone else or be here just to take care of someone else for a long time. That could be seen as selfish, and of course you can have your own life when you have kids, but a certain part of you has to go into taking care of someone else for a while 
if you decide to have kids. And so right now I'm definitely not interested in doing that. I am not done doing what I want to do. I still have a lot of goals for myself and a lot of things I want to do before I want to give my energy to someone else like that. And I don't know if that will ever change. I don't know if I will ever want to stop just living for myself. So that's another reason why I'm like, I probably should not have kids if I feel that way. This whole video might come off as super harsh to some people, but I think it's a smart choice, especially if you think the same way and you're thinking similar things that are maybe like, Ooh, wow, I don't find kids cute, but everyone else finds kids cute. That's not true. Or I want to live my life for myself. Maybe that's really selfish. No, it's not. Or maybe you're not a baby person. Maybe you are concerned with having a child will bring your financial life way down. That's not being a bad person either. It's smart to not have a child if you don't think you want to, or if you don't think you're ready. So the takeaway is it's okay to want kids and it's okay to not want kids. So don't let anybody peer pressure you into having kids if you never want them or if you don't want them right now. That is not smart because at the end of the day, it will be you having to take care of these children. And if you don't think you're able to, or if you don't think you want to, don't do it for real. And also foster care and adoption is always an option. There are so many children who are not well taken care of and who need somebody to take care of them well. So if that's something you're interested in and you're not really tied down to the fact you have to birth, then that's a good option. <laughs> I'm just speaking my mind here. So yeah, I just thought of making this video last night and I wanted to let you guys know this because I think a lot of people are steered in different directions when they don't want kids. And if anybody is like me and hasn't thought that people think like this about having kids and wants to find someone who thinks similarly and doesn't feel so alone in their thoughts now, I hope this video helped you. If you like self-improvement content and living your best life, please subscribe. I think that's all for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.